Alright guys, what is going on? We're back with some more Call Universe mode. And obviously we're starting the tournament for the YouTube Championship today. And our first match is Nathan Dyer versus Nick. Repackaged Nick. I'm sure you guys remember this dude. From, I think, one of the, some of the first episodes we had on the channel. And it was just time to uh, just fix it. So obviously... It's a little bit crazy, but, uh, we also have a channel update coming on this channel, like, maybe 30, 40 minutes after this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that, um, that should be interesting to see what goes on there, but, it's gonna be a great episode for you guys, we have Nathan Dyer, obviously debuting along with the monster he's debuting he's making his call universe day debut today uh, with Nathan Dyer but it should be a great episode like I said we're starting our call universe our call tournament for the YouTube championship we're gonna have a epi we're gonna have a match this week match next week then a match whatever like that Just to until all the way to the pay-per-view when we crown our new call call Universe YouTube Champion. So if you heard a big loud bus, kids are getting out of school. It's loud right now. But there's Nick. You remember him with the big old mohawk and um, shorts. I mean, it was it was insane. So which he was. We had him on this channel before we even had the call Universe. So it's been that long. So. Yeah, here we go. Start the match and look at Nick with the drop kick. Dyer way undersized in this uh, matchup as there's a European uppercut. But Dyer fights right back with the punches. Lefts and rights. Now look at this. I don't know what that move is, but that looked like it freaking hurt. It's one of the moves looks like they go for the pin. Then there is a leg drop. As now Nick's already right back up though. And then the Dyer catches him with a... Punch, leans all the ropes, gets right back up in his face, turns him around, and tries to go for a German suplex. Dyer reverses with the elbows to the face. Now look at this. With the sidewalk slam, side slam, whatever you want to call it. Now here is the submission, pulling the arms back, driving the knee into the back, and now let's go of the hold. So Nick gets right back up and gets caught with a punch to the face. But there's Nick with a snapmare. And oh, couldn't get anything because Dyer said, no, what the hell? He just kind of shoved him right back down into a headlock. That was pretty funny. But uh, here we go. Still has the headlock on. Still has the headlock. Wow. Dyer cannot get out of this at all. That size might be coming into play. From what we've seen, there we go. Dyer gets out of it and gets a headlock of his own. And there he goes, he lets it go, but Nick's right back on the attack, turns him around, looks like, oh shit. Look at the suplex, planting Dyer on his head. Now turns him over. Dyer's trying to get up, Nick tries to catch him with a punch, he misses, and then lands that wild with a punch there. Now here's Dyer, pulls him in, and there's that arm drag. If that's an arm drag, I think it would be an arm drag. Now here we go, he goes up to the top rope. And let's see what we can hit. Oh, God. The double stomp off the top. Here's the pin. One, two, and Nick kicks out. Wow. Double stomp off the top, and he kicks out. Oh, wow. What a reversal from Nick. Gets right, right out of the way of that one, so I'm pretty sure that hurt. Had to hurt like hell. Now, Nick takes him over with a snapmare. Oh, shit. Look at this submission. Oh, wasn't a submission. Goes for inverted DDT instead. And there's a kick right to the back. So I don't know if this tournament is going to be better than our first tournament. Our World Heavyweight Tournament. But, you know, we'll find out. As this match has been pretty good so far. There's a kick to the back of the knee. And now here's the reversal from Nick. Goes for a drop kick on the knee. Dyer standing up still. Now look at this takedown from Nick. Plants Dyer right on his back. Now pulls him into the middle of the ring. And go, gosh. Look at that submission move. That has to hurt like hell. Dyer might have to tap out after this. Instead, Nate lets the hold go. I don't know why. He probably could have tapped. That looked like it hurt. Oh, shit. Look at the winds of change from 
Dyer goes for the pin. One, two, and Nick kicks out at two. What a matchup. So I believe next week's match is going to be Damien versus Jory Nice. That one's going to be hardcore. I can tell you Jory Nice has had two matches here so far, and they have been hardcore all the way. And now Damien, just the sound of his name, looks hardcore. Shit, there's a German suplex. Oh my gosh. So next week's match sure to be one hell of a matchup. Now here's the pin. There's two. And Nick kicks out again. Nick with that never say die attitude. And now he gets right back up. Stands in Dyer's face. Pulls him in. Now look at this. With that suplex. Dragon suplex. Whatever you want to call it. Not good with names of moves. I used to be. I used to could tell you everything. But now it's, I've just forgotten a lot. Oh god look at the backbreaker holy shit I was not expecting that I was just thinking a vertical suplex it could be all over here here's the count one two and Dyer kicks out holy hell that was one hell of a move don't you think jeez now look at this another impaler DDT holy crap Nick with this new attitude is insane I mean my voice just cracked that's for sure but there's Dyer with a reversal. And oh my god, KO! It's over. Jeez, he hit that out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, hard hitting match for sure. Now here's the pin. One, two, three. No! Nick kicks out. Like I said, I mean, he's kicked out of just about everything you could think of. And now there's a kick to the back. Dyer looks like he's getting a little bit pissed. Because, I mean, oh shit, look at the reversal there. I mean, this is insane. Here we go. Now, we're going to get Irish whipped into the turnbuckle. Oh, there's a forearm to the back. And Dyer with a reversal. And now there's a snapmare from Nick. Into a headlock. Okay, here, Dyer trying to get back up to his feet. There he goes. There's the elbows to the gut. There's one. There's two. Separation. And now here's Dyer with a snapmare of his own. And a headlock of his own. Is the he headlock master. Kevin Owens says that all the time. And I think that is hilarious. Oh, oh my gosh. But uh, here we go. Still has that headlock in. Holy crap. Tweezing the hell out of his head. He's going to pop it off. He's going to shoot into his space. But uh, yeah. Wow, Nick gets right back up. Going to get Irish whipped into the turnbuckle. And he misses a wild kick there. There's another miss. And now look at this Dyer with plenty of time. The reverse that catches him there. Oh, God. There's that. Oh, what the hell? Nick's done. He's going to tap out here. There's no way. That looks like it has to hurt. As Nick reverses it, turns it over, punches him right in the face for the separation. What a freaking reversal there. Now he pulls him into the middle of the ring, takes him up. Oh, shit. Jesus, Fisherman's Buster. It's got to be over. Oh, Nick's going to be set up for that finisher. Have not seen his new finisher yet. Still the same. With that inverted Boston Crab. What a move. Tap out Dyer. No, he did not. Nick gets frustrated because he didn't tap out. Let's the hold go. And he pulls him into the middle of the ring, turns him over. Goes for a pin instead. Let's see if he can kick out one. Just a one count. Wow. Nick. That's just about giving it all he's got. So is Dyer. This is one hell of an opening matchup. Both men are back up to their feet now. Dyer steps back, but Nick pulls him in with an Irish whip to the turnbuckle. Looks like he's going to pull him off. Jam him in. Well, throw him back into the turnbuckles. Look at that kick to the back. Now a freaking elbow drop right down to the mat. Takes him up from the sitting position. What is he going to do now? Does not do anything. Takes him over with a roll-up pin. But Dyer with the rope break. And there's a punch right to the face. Now look at this. Dyer with another German suplex. All right, he's going to pull him into the middle of the ring now. Turns him over. Could he go for the pin? Can the win? Let's see. One, two, and Nick kicks out again. Holy hell. What a match. I'm pretty sure next week's match is going to be just as good as this one. Here we go. Look at this. Nick pulls him into the middle of the ring. Takes him up. Going to hit that nasty looking takedown again. 
And now runs to the top rope. What is he going to be looking for here? I mean, he's got Dyer down, but there's always that one moment where Dyer can get back up. Yes, he did, and there's the KO. Woo, it's over. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Moving on to the next round to either face... I don't know. It's either, I think it's Kale Sparks and, or Blade. So one of those two guys. As that was one hell of a matchup. What a finish to that match too. I mean, Nick goes for a diving move off the top. Right as I was saying, Dyer could get up and do anything. He does. Hits the KO. One, two, three. It's all over. That was one hell of a match. I mean, for sure. That was just great. So our next match, like I said, our main event is going to be the debut of the monster going one-on-one -on -one with a Curzo. We have not seen Curzo in some time here in Universe Mode. He's had a lot of chances to win the World Championship. It was actually Rob Havoc, our new World Champion, versus Curzo in the finals of our World Title Tournament way back in the day, I would say now. And... I honestly thought Curzo was could have that match in the bag, but it seemed like Rob Rob pulled it out, and now here we are today with Rob as our two-time uh, FPSG heavyweight champion. So that's, that's where we're at. And then Curzo, ever since that match, he's had a couple opportunities. He's actually faced Rob tw twice for that title. He could have been the world. He could have been the number one contender a lot more times. He could have won the battle royal. He has not done it. So now he's looking for a little bit of revenge, a little bit of redemption to get back in the eyes of um, the universe mode people, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I was confused as hell there. But here we are with our main event, and it's it's gonna be good. Trust me. I mean, if y'all were there with the stream where we made the monster, you know that dude's gonna be a beast, obviously. So. Yeah, looking forward to this matchup. Uh, it should be, should be pretty good. Here we go. Here we go. In Colorado Springs, I guess. I don't know. Every time we start up a different match in Universe Mode, for some odd reason, it says that we are in a different town. Each time. I don't know if any does that to anybody else, but that's a little bit weird. Don't you think? I mean... I would think they'd keep it the same at all times, but I guess it's not. I guess we're a traveling show. I don't know. But uh, here comes the monster. Seven foot tall. Just, just pure destruction. Going up, going up against arguably another man. That is just pure destruction in Curzo. The matches we've seen him in. He's put up hell of a... F I mean, he's put up great fights. He just can't win the big one. But I guess if he can win here against the newcomer monster, it could put him in a title. Uh, they're running for the title, but this is the monster's first match. Now it's sad to say AJ Mitchell did uh, sustain a concussion after what happened with what is now known as the Chaos Club. Um, they will be making an appearance next episode along with determining the new number one contender. But, you know, like I said, they will be making their appearance next week to find out why the hell they did some stuff at the pay-per-view. And we're going to determine a new number one contender, a battle royal like we normally do because I feel like it gives numerous amounts of people the opportunity to get the number one contender. It, we, it could be anybody. So it very well could be Curzo. But like I said, AJ Mitchell's not able to cash in his number one contender match because he had sustained a a massive concussion. I mean, they the match was good. It was I mean it was a ladder match, so obviously he was already injured and bruised up from that ladder match. Then Rob Havoc and Antonio Payne beat the shit out of him after the match, and that's yeah. I don't know when he's gonna be able to come back, but he is injured at, for the time being. But I'm pretty sure once he comes back. He's gonna want his rematch. That's that's probably for sure. But here we go. Bell's been wrong, and now you say, look at the size difference from my last match. Now this is a size difference. Curzo's tall as hell, but the monster's seven foot tall. So look at the referee's gonna have to break this one up, and Curzo gets the cheap shot. 
You're seeing a little bit of a different side from Curso here. Now they go back to another collar and elbow tie up. Monster gets him with a headlock. Now still has the headlock. Curso trying to fight out of it. Here we go. He backs him up into the rope. Here comes Monster off the ropes this time and catches him with a shoulder tackle. And the massive strength from the Monster knocks Curso for a loop. Now he's going to Irish whip him into the turnbuckle. It bounces off, goes Curzo. Back into another collar and elbow tie-up. Gets Monster in that arm lock of types. And now stomps the knee down, takes it down, and gets... I mean, this arm... Trying to soften it up, I guess. None of his finishers have anything to do with the arm. He does hit the Komoro lock a shit ton. I know, but it's not either of his finishers or signatures. So maybe soften it up for that to get the win... But there's a vertical suplex there. Monster already right back up to his feet though. Curzo trying to stop it. Can't stop the big man. And there's a punch right to the face. Now here we go with a knee to the gut. Another knee to the gut. Another knee to the gut. Jeez. Make him throw up. Now he's going to Irish whip him out of the ring. Takes a hard fall to the outside. Monster goes out there to follow him. Picks him up. What are we going to see here? This is where Matt's destruction happens. Throws him into the announce table. Throws him into the ring post. Holy crap. The monster not holding back in his debut is going to Irish whip him into the ring post again. But Gerzo finally gets a reversal. Holy crap. And there's a neck break. If you talk about concussions, very well could have one there. Now look at this. Goes for a submission on the outside knowing that Gerzo can can't tap out so he can hold that finisher for up to a 10 count now he rolls back into the ring so does Curzo here we go Curzo gets him in a headlock takes him up leans him up against those ropes gonna Irish whip him here comes the monster and catches him with that t-bone suplex or snap slam whatever you want to call it here we go the monsters back up Curzo catches him with a punch and what's going on here oh my gosh it's Antonio Payne. So Rob Havoc sends out Antonio Payne. And the monster just had, when well, the match was not over, we see the referee counting out Curzo. Curzo's left ringside. He knows what's up. Now here we go. There's monster. He's fighting back. There's a punch. There's one from uh, Antonio. There's one from the monster. And this is going to get crazy. There they go. Look at this. Antonio Payne takes him up with that knee freaking right to the stomach picks him up now looks like he's going for that urine slam this is gonna Jesus they are taking out everybody everybody in their matches need to be warned this is insane now look at this looks like he's going for that uh, jackknife whatever I don't know whatever the moves called it's been a while but uh there we go yeah this is it's done in the show already guys this is pure mass destruction we're going to find out why the Chaos Club is here next week and a new one, Brooklyn Tinder. So like, subscribe, and comment. I am out. Thank you for watching.